Hi everyone, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to deploy your NFT smart contracts for the NEAR protocol in Rust. So let's do it. You can find it in our link in the description part. And here is the contract. So if you go to SRC, um, you can find the libRC which is the core of our contract. So um, because the contract is relatively large, I'm actually I'm not going to cover all these details here. But you can actually uh, clone the project and bring it to your own environment. So here we have metadata, we have general descriptions and so forth. So, um, so the first thing we need to do before we basically compile our contract and deploy that to the either testnet or mainnet uh, is the installation of uh, near CLI. So to do so, uh, you need to type the following command and install. Near CLI. All right. So after the installation, uh, you need to check the version to make sure everything is installed properly. Um, so I would use near dash dash version. So at the time of recording this video, I use 3.2.0. Uh, if you do this later on, I don't know, a few months later, you might have different number. Um, okay, so that's it. And the next step is to create basically an account and a, a sub account afterwards in order to deploy the contract with testnet. So if you just go here, docs, uh, point near dot org slash docs slash tools slash near CLI here you can see all these you know commands inside of the CLI tool and uh, here we have a create account so and we have login etc you can do actually everything here my project also includes um, you know the web page and uh, the NFT marketplace is minimalistic marketplace so we have some Node.js part we need to do some installation as well uh, to do so after cloning the code because it's already cloned here you need to type npm install and shield if you have it then it's fine but um, if you don't have it by default you need to install shields it, it might take some while So the next step is to make sure you have Rust compiler on your machine. So Rust is a powerful kind of low level programming language. People perceive that as an alternative for C and it's on top of LLVM. That's why it's very popular you know, between developers, including blockchain developers. And this is kind of main language for the near protocol and Solana and Substrate, etc. So, uh, as you can see, I do have it here, uh, but if you have some sort of issue with that, um, you can, you know, you know, install that from scratch. So, in order to install that, you need to just, you know, um, use this command uh, for your machine. If you have curl, then things are easy. Um, Alright, so, after the installation, make sure you have Rust. Uh, you need to make sure that you add uh, VASP32 to your basic ecosystem. So you need to use this command, cross up, and then target, and then add, and then VASP32. Alright, so it's uh, up to date right now. And the final command is using yarn uh, for the deployment. So as I mentioned earlier in my project, I also add like the web part, minter, etc. So we have kind of a minimalistic, basically, NFT marketplace that includes the NFT token, a smart contract, as well as the, you know, off-chain backend part.
So this might take a while because it needs to you know, grab stuff and compile them, you know, all these dependencies for the SDK, for the near SDK, etc. So for this project also I use Cargo uh, for the, you know, uh, basically package manager of Rust part. So here is our transaction ID, and here you can see the transaction of the country. Alright, so as you can see, it succeed, and it's created right now. So that was the video, I tried to make it as, uh, you yeah, know, short and useful as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.